Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, I will explain how your browser uses symmetric and asymmetric encryption and digital certificates to protect your online conversations behind the scenes. Private key encryption is also called symmetric key encryption. In private key encryption, two parties share a secret key to encrypt and decrypt messages. The same key is used by both parties, making the encryption symmetric. How do you know your conversation message is encrypted? You can tell by HTTPS or a padlock icon in the URL box. Who is responsible for choosing a secret key, a web browser, or a web server? Answer web browser. How does your browser deliver the secret key over the internet to the web server? Answer public key encryption. The public key encryption is also called asymmetric key encryption. The web server generates a pair of keys that are mathematically related. One key is public and the other is private. The public key is known to everyone and only the web server knows the private key. Here is the scenario. The web browser initiates the conversation with the web server. It asks if they can talk in a way that no one else can understand. This means that they will use encryption to scramble their messages. The web server agrees and sends its public key to the web browser. The public key is like a lock that anyone can use to secure a message, but only the web server has the key to open it. That is its private key. The web browser receives the public key and uses it to lock its secret key. The web browser sends the encrypted secret key to the web server. The web server gets the encrypted secret key and uses its private key to decrypt it. The private key is like the matching key only the web server has. The web server knows the web browser's secret key. Now, both the web browser and the server have the same secret key. They can use the shared secret key to encrypt and decrypt their messages for the rest of the session. No one else can read their messages. Is this design perfect? The answer is no. What happens if there is a man in the middle attack? How do you know the public key you get comes from the authentic web server, not from a hacker? There is a challenge of identity. How can your web browser be sure that the public key belongs to the web server? How can your web browser trust that the web server is who it claims to be? You cannot blindly trust anyone on the internet. How do you verify someone's identity online? The solution is a digital certificate. A digital certificate is like your driver's license issued by your state and it confirms your identity and proves that you are who you say you are. A digital certificate verifies the web server and its public key. It is issued by a trusted third party certificate authority or CA. Let's see an example. Here is the website of the University of St. Mary, stmary.edu. If I want to check the digital certificate and its certificate authority with my Chrome browser, here is the process. First, click on the padlock icon, then click on the connection is secure. Then, click on certificate is valid. Here is the certificate. The digital certificate is issued to estmary.edu. The CA or the certificate issuer is DigiCert and the certificate is valid for one year. Here is the digital certificate and the web server's public key. 
how does your web browser check that the digital certificate is issued by a valid certificate authority? Answer. Your web browser uses the certificate authority's public key that is already installed on your browser. Let me check the public key, which verifies the certificate authority. Here is the process. I use Chrome as the web browser to demonstrate it. Different browsers have slightly different ways. First, click on the three vertical dots. In the upper right corner of the Chrome window, you can find a submenu called Settings. Click on it, you will find Privacy and Security on the left. Click on it, and then you can see Security on the new window. Click on it and scroll down and find Advanced. Select Manage Certificates. Click the Intermediate Certificate Authorities. You will find DigiCert. You might notice multiple versions of a certificate from the same company like DigiCert. The main reason is to cater to these various needs and developments, which we don't delve into too much detail. Just think of different local government offices that can issue you a driver's license. Let's choose one and double click on it. This is the digital certificate issued to DigiCert. Select Details. You will see a lot of information about the digital certificate issued to DigiCert. All this information is to say DigiCert Company is a valid certificate authority. Believe all certificates issued by it. Here is the public key which your browser uses to verify the validity of the certificate authority company. Your browser uses the public key to verify the certificate signature because the certificate signature was made by the DigiCent private key. Thus, the public key encryption algorithm has another use. To verify a digital signature, using its public key. Let me use an example to demonstrate the whole process. Suppose I want to go to the Yahoo web and request the encrypted conversations. Step 1. My browser requests a secure page from the Yahoo web server. Step 2. The web server sends its public key with its certificate to my browser. Step 3. Once my browser gets the certificate, it will check to ensure it is valid. Once the certificate is verified, the public key and web server can be trusted. A padlock icon appears. The padlock icon says the web server and its public key are verified. Verification is done. It is time to talk. Step 4. My browser generates a random symmetric encryption key and encrypts it with the web server's public key. Step 5. When the web server gets the encrypted secret key, it uses its private key to decrypt it. Now, both parties know the shared secret key. Step 6. The web server sends back the requested page and data encrypted with the secret key. Step 7. Your browser decrypts the page and data using the secret key and displays them. This process ensures that only your browser and the web server can read messages between them. It also prevents anyone from impersonating the web server or tampering with the data. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.